Hi there, my name is Kaylee DeFair, and I'm proud to share with you Nanaimo's first ever youth poetry video anthology, Beyond the City Streets. I've asked young poets to join me here to share their thoughts about the city that we all live in and many of us consider home. It is truly an honor to share this space with them today, as their voices are those of the future. I believe that what we're doing here really matters, that just the act of opening ourselves up and voluntarily being vulnerable is somehow strengthening. Now without further ado, here is some wonderful poetry by Nanaimo's very own youth. Hi, my name is Daza and my poem is called Silicon City. 7 a.m. I stand looking in the bathroom mirror before I head out. I can't stop thinking how fake this city is. No one can see how broken it is. Flowers have wilted, everyone is too focused on themselves. When walking down the street, everything looks lifeless. It's not just the flowers, it's the people too. So many broken smiles when I look around me, like everything I was told about life was a lie, forever searching for beauty in a silicone city. However, you can't undo what someone else broke. Everyone is filled with judgment, though judgment is what we're all scared of. Scared of not being accepted, not being good enough, not well being what everyone else wants. Society gave us all an unrealistic goal, an unrealistic view of how it should all be. Life simply isn't like that. I need to take off the mask. I need to let myself grow. Smile at those I pass in the street. You never know their story. In a Silicon City, one real person could make all the difference. My name's Liam and my poem is called The Harboring City. A city by the sea, we see not past our shores. Isolated we stand, in homes as in land, helping hands we feel not, be we working or poor. One more hopeless night spent, day's purpose to await, the pain of the next. We feel no escape, but the smoke that we breathe, or the bottle we drain, running away, but we're told we're insane, obscene is our cry for options beyond, working in fast food and wasting our time, having places to go that aren't closing by five, and people who help with no ladders to climb, but our words are a wine. Cast against failing ears, the harbor city harbors nothing but fear that we let out as rage against those who, like us, have nowhere to go and no one to trust. Hi, I'm Veda, and my poem is called Calm. The bus is warm, the air is calm, new faces bring a whole new song. The school is loud, the air is sweet, the perfect place for friends to meet. Hurt or not, we're all the same, but bullies will hurt us for game. People on the streets, a frightening air they hold. They carry on their life within December cold. Inside our house we know our memories do fly by. No matter how hard we try, we cry our lullaby. The town where many were born rings loud with one foghorn, and the rain brings snow, the hail will glow. This is home to many we know. Joy and hate live in these walls, be it work or school or glass-strung dolls. They always call to them who see the hate and pain and hold the embers in their heart to burn the flame anew. The bus is quiet, the air is warm. It's merely the calm before the storm. Hi, my name is Erica Berg, and this is my poem, Migrant Seasons. I'm a bus dependent, post-adolescent pedestrian of this city. In the winters I wander, those dim days conjure up lonesome ruminations among holiday decorations. Soggy streets now sparkle, Abandoned clothing make fossils, revived by the momentary warmth of tomorrow. Come spring, I grow restless. Passing cars leave me jealous. I cringe when my face is hit by their draft and wish that my legs took me places that fast. Summers feign hope for change of self, change of scene. But every fall, I return, the same pedestrian I've always been. My name is Trent Jack. My poem is called Mind of a Foster Child. No one asked me what it's like to be a youth in care in Nanaimo, so let me tell you. I look around Harbor City and see hard drugs, intense city and all the pity. I look into the other foster kids' eyes and see the same fake disguise. Sexual abuse, substance use, and all the lies. Foster care is a cage. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but my life is stuck on the same page. It's welfare and minimum wage. This is a mind of a foster child who grew up wild, born with so-called mental disabilities, but God gave me special spiritual lyrical abilities. A couple years of martial arts gave me street combat agilities. 
Born in 1998 with the pain and hate, the reservation is something I had to escape. Break out that psychological prison and walk with that third eye vision. Being sober is over. My land has been taken by colonization and assimilation. I have dreams bigger than constellations. I am no rapper or entrepreneur, just an old soul residential school kid that climbed out the sewers. This is my life, no presentation. More secrets in my mind than a Freemason. An original Aboriginal with a sacred culture surrounded by satanic vultures. No money for lunch, just enough change for the bus. Yeah, foster kids, this is us. No longer want to steal or make a quick drug deal for that last meal. To some people, this life isn't real. This is the way we are living, the nonsense we were given. Nightlife, streetlights, and fist fights, and knives in my windpipe. Just another orphan in the street with old Jordans on my feet. My past is something I'd like to delete. Walk through the snow and sleep in the rain. Heart full of shame, clinically insane with slit veins. To the top of the pyramid is where I aim. A normal life is lame. To wrap up, I'm going to read one of my own poems. This is called A Little Noise. Sitting out on the pier, frigid water lapping under my feet. Several yards behind me, a disheveled man has been asking for money so he can get something to eat. Above us, seagulls are squawking, bickering over some trash. The poor man's voice is drowned by a mother's protests as her son reaches out, offering him a bit of cash. He wants drug money, she scolds, batting at his hand. The poor man falls to his knees, grabbing what little change he can. I wonder what brought him here, to the Harbor City streets the streets I used to play on in the city that raised me and all my dreams. It's all going to hell. That's the mantra I keep hearing. Tent city, the fentanyl crisis, young lives disappearing. Friends of mine, I grew up here with and it never seemed quite this bad. Sure, we hung around outside the liquor store. Sure, we smoked a lot of grass, but I never thought so many of their lives would end this way, one phone call at a time, while watching the city that shaped me get swallowed up by crime. It's easy to see it that way, although we live in paradise. For beyond these city streets are its people, each with their own vice. But I still stand behind my home here. Of Nanaimo, I continue to be proud. Because the weight of the world can be lifted here, although the city goes through its ups and downs. We still have so much to be grateful for, like the opportunity to help a man down on his knees. When my Nanaimo has given me so much more than it has ever taken from me like the sunsets, the friendships, and the scenic boardwalks, like the magic of our heritage down the old city block. I know these streets can get you down, but you always have a choice. You can pull strength from the ground beneath you and make a little noise. <laughs>